All right, in this video, we're looking at uh, writing checks, and I called it that um, because in order to write a check, you need to know how to read or write numbers. So really, we're just learning how to read and write numbers. And to show you how to do this, to be honest, it, it really doesn't matter how big the number is. So we're going to make up a really big one, and I'll show you that it doesn't matter. It's going to be quite simple to, to read out. So we're just going to make up some numbers here. Um, two, three, there we go. There's our very large number, and we're going to learn how to read this out. And the way to do it is to start at the end and go three numbers in and put a comma in. Three numbers, three numbers, three numbers, and three numbers again. Okay, now we're going to use this table and we're going to start at the end, which is a 0, 2, 3, and we're going to put it in each section of the table. Then 2, 2, 1, 6, 7, 2, 4, 0, 5, and last for 1, 2, 3. And if the number was even bigger, you would get into your quadrillions and your quintillions, but you don't normally get that big. In fact, we don't normally get numbers in the trillions, to be honest. Um, now, if I was to read this out, all you need to do is know how to read out three-digit numbers. For example, this is 123, this is 405, this is 672, this is 221, and last of all, this is just 23. Now, if you can read out a three-digit number, then you can read out numbers of any size. To read this number out, all I need to do is say, 123 trillion, 405 billion, 672 million, 221,023. And that is basically what you need to do to read out very large numbers. So we're going to move into our example examples now. And you'll notice, and, and this is what they do anyway, they whenever they give you a number, they actually split it into groups of three. They just don't put a comma in there nowadays, they put a space instead. Okay, so um, what I might do is, um, I was thinking of getting the table back, but no, we don't need that. All right, now remembering, these are already put into groups of three, so we don't have to worry about that. But just remember that the last three digits on the table, it was blank, and then it went thousands, millions, billions, and so on. So we leave the last three blank, and the next three, or in this case two, we're going to, this is the thousands column. So I'm going to write TH for thousands, M for millions, B for billions, and so on. So this number is 63,701. So if I was to write it down, I would say 63 thousand uh, seven uh, hundred and one and that's how you do that so moving on to question B the last three you don't write anything above it then you've got your thousands and then you've got your millions so this is ten million three hundred and twenty nine thousand four hundred and ten so 10 million, probably should put a comma between, between each, so 10 million, 300 and 29,000, 400, and 10. Okay, keep going. Question C. So, blank, then thousands, then millions, and then billions. Um, so, we're going to say 3 billion, 20 million, 1,901. So, 3 billion, comma, uh, 20 million, Oops, comma, uh, 1,000, comma, 900, and 1. 
All right, last one. So blank, thousands, millions, billions, and this time we're getting into the trillions. So we've got 42 trillion, 320 billion, uh, we've got no millions, 1,290. So when you read this out, you actually completely ignore the millions because it's got three zeros. So we would say 42 trillion, 320 billion, 1,290. So how do we write that? Um, 42 trillion, uh, 320 billion, 1,000,000 billion, uh, missed the million, so 1,000. And uh, so 290, 1,000, comma, 290. And that's the end of, on it, and that's the end of our video on uh, expressing numbers in words.